Welcome everyone to this live stream. So this live, live stream is all about the table tool and um, the table tool and because the table tool, if you use the table tool in CorelDRAW, you would uh, speed up your layout process. So we are going to recreate this one. So I did this in uh, um, earlier and I used the table tool and this is really simple to do. So just imagine this, um, this uh, layout wherein you have these squares, right? So if I'm going to count the squares here in the per column, I would say one, two, three, four, and five. So this is just like an imaginary row here. So you got five by four, right? You got one, two, three, four, okay? So we are going to recreate that. So first I'm going to create a border. Anyway, here's also another tip. If you want, a, this is the page border, and if you want a border around, you just double click on this one, and it will create a border, right? And then I can just move this here so that I can, I can make it the same size as the letter size. So we, uh, we, so we said it's gonna be five by four, right? four columns and then five rows. So the table tool is this one here. It's it's under the text tool. So when you click on table tool, okay, uh, look into the um, the properties. So in the properties it says, because uh, this one, I think the default is two by two. So you're going to change this. So we decided that the rows will be five and then the columns, would be four. So it's five by four. And then after that, you just uh, click and drag to create your layout or your grids. Let's just call it grids, okay? So now here, uh, if you notice, uh, we already have grids, but can I edit the grids? Yes, you can. So go to your shape tool. Once you go to your shape tool, then you can go inside inside the tables and then say for example this and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight this this eight uh, grids or cells and then I'm going to merge so right mouse click and then merge cells or control plus M okay so now for this one so we won't touch this because this is the right grid see the only thing that we have to touch is this one right so you go to your shape, sorry, you select the, the table first and then go to your shape tool and then highlight these four grids and then right mouse click and then you're going to merge cells. All right. So, um, so now, so the, the only thing we have to do is actually to grab these photos and put it inside the cells, right? Now, in the table tool, the table tool acts like a power clip, uh, but in a different way. So let's try to put this image. So I'm just going to enlarge it a bit like that, but we can, uh, we can still edit the size. So if I'm going to put this photo to this cell, I'm going to uh, right mouse click. So not left mouse click, click, but right mouse click, you drag it and then you put it inside the cell, right? And then once the cell is blue, you just release and then click on place inside cell. So now it's there, right? And you notice you also have this six, um, six circles. So that one you can actually reposition or make it bigger within that cell, right? You can reposition and you can also make it larger if you want or smaller, okay? And then, so we are also going to put this three photos here. So I'm gonna click this one and then um, drag, uh, drag it by right mouse click, okay? And then put it inside that cell and then click on place inside cell. And then you can just like resize it or reposition it. Okay, so now with this one, same thing. Click on it and then right mouse click 
and then you can go into the cell and then you can place inside cell and then you can just like resize it sometimes it does this but if if it does this you just have to go back and then drag it again and then click on place inside the cell and then just resize it or move it I think it's when you reposition it that's uh, you have to be careful when reposition because it goes out of the cell so anyway so this one we have to uh, to drag it by right mouse click and then go to the cell and then place it inside the cell and then you will just have to reposition okay so now uh, the uh, so what else can we do so we can put some text inside so what I'm going to do first I'm going to color the the cells right because we're done with the photos we're just the cells that we're we're concerned about so we, again we go to your our color eyedropper and then we'll start with this one so click this and then uh, hold on sh sorry uh, so we click on the eyedropper to select that and then fill that there and then click on shift and then fill that sh hold on shift sample the color shift sample the color and then this one here and the last one would be this one okay so so now we have this one but if you look at the uh, if you, we've got margins right so in order to create margins you select the table we have white margins right select the table and then here you got options uh, you click on the separate cell borders once you click on that then you can adjust the you know the white separation of the cells you can just increase this one see if I'm okay with that so that's good right now before we I think we have to make it no just leave it like that or let's make it more it's wider okay okay so now um, it would also look nice if there's no outline inside the cell so you just go to your shape tool and you go sorry you have to select the table first so select the table the whole table and then you go to your shape tool and then you click here and then uh, right mouse click on here to remove the outline so same thing if I hold down shift actually it doesn't work holding down shift won't work so you have to do it one by one and then right mouse click here to remove the outline I'm just gonna do it one by one and this right mouse click right mouse click and we got three more cells right mouse click and the last one would be this image here okay and then the last cell would be the table here if you click on the table and then right mouse click here to remove the outline okay and then the only thing you have to do is you put into the text right so what I'll do here to demonstrate how to how to put text inside the cell so I'm gonna copy this one I'm gonna copy this uh, dummy text this dummy text control C it cancel there so you go to your um, text tool right and then you go inside and then there it would create a text box right and I'm just gonna go control V to paste and it's there right so now if you take a look at this cell and this one I've got more spacing on this one so you can still um, you can 
you can adjust the spacing here or the mar margin so you go to your shape tool click here and then here in margins you can increase the margins if you take a look it's margins are changing right there and what I'll do I'll just put some spacing here to put the subtitle I mean the subheadings so I'm gonna click on the text tool move my text here and then hit enter um, there and then I'm just going to grab this title here because I didn't I, oh okay so I I think I put this one into the uh, okay so I'm just gonna extract one here plus on my keyboard just gonna grab that shift page up plus sign again I'm just gonna make this black and oops you just have to be careful when you're when you're moving uh, elements in your okay I'm just gonna change that to about our company okay and then uh, and then you and then you can do the rest so for this one what I'll do I'm just gonna copy this one and then move it here so this one I didn't put it into the cells I made it outside of the cells so you can do that too right the only advantage of putting the text into the cell is that it would wrap around the the box it would create a box okay so so yeah so that's how you do it um, uh, so this is uh, a table tool is powerful because I'm just gonna duplicate this because it it gives you um, fast layout and or creating grids so I hope you like my tutorial um, I stream live uh, daily and um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.